In this video, we will be solving problem number 6 in chapter 4. We begin by first defining the problem that we're trying to solve. So the problem is asking us to find a relationship for the heat flow in terms of the temperature difference, which is just the difference between the temperature in the bulk flow, this T0, and the temperature of the inner surface, Ti. Um, and in terms of the total resistance, so this includes the conductive resistance as well as the convective resistance. We are also asked to find the minimum value of the thermal resistance with respect to the thickness of insulation. And the thickness of insulation is essentially just this thickness here, or R O minus R I, where R O is the outer radius and R I is the inner radius. So in this problem, we're dealing with a hollow cylindrical pipe covered in insulation. So we can represent the insulation with this hash part here. And we can represent the outer radius of the insulation as R0 and the inner radius of the insulation as Ri. We're also told that surrounding this hollow cylinder, bulk fluid is held at a temperature of T0. Now it's important to realize that this temperature is not necessarily the temperature of the outer surface or the surface at R0. We're also told that the inner surface, the inner surface of the pipe, this surface here, is held at a temperature of Ti. Additionally, we are told to consider the convective resistance and the conductive resistance of the pipe. Towards the end of the problem, we're given a value for the heat transfer coefficient of 50 watts per meter kelvin, meter squared kelvin, and a value for the thermal conductivity as 0.2 watts per meter kelvin. So what assumptions do we need to make to solve this problem? Well, in the problem, we're specifically told to consider steady state heat transfer. So we can assume that our system is at a steady state. We also need to assume that heat is being lost only in the radial direction. So if we draw our pipe, we are only concerned with the heat flux or heat flow in the radial direction. So we're going to be doing a 1D analysis for this problem.